All right, here's our attacking forces. Uh, I don't. I'll give you the point total at some point, but I, I have it saved on a different document. All right, so uh, this is this battle uh, somewhere in France after World War II, some river. ESPN's excited about it, so that's some unknown location. Uh, kind of looked up, did some down and dirty quick look up on uh, some units that were in the theater of operations about that time. So uh, the majority of this, <clears throat> of the German force, will be uh, 3rd Company, 343rd Infantry Division. Uh, we'll have the 1st, 2nd, 3rd, and 4th squads with a Pioneer Detachment. And then they'll also have uh, one squad of the second company, 1st Panzer Grenadier Battalion, 101st SS Heavy Panzer Battalion. So that'll be the Germans. So uh, they got, a, they got a, that's a first lieutenant with his uh, little adjutant guy. Got a little pistol. He's SS all the way out. You can only really tell these guys. I put him in like the SS Adolf Hitler kind of straight up all in the black with the white and the red armband and not put swastikas on there that's, that's that ain't cool uh, <laughs> but and plus I couldn't paint that good either so it's not happening um, first lieutenant vet most of these guys are, are veterans I think uh, I saved some points on some of the half tracks and made them regular but all their infantry is veterans so these guys have been there done that they either fought in France or they fought in Russia um, so here's your first squad uh, of your uh, 101st SS Heavy Panzer Brenadier. And these are all full squads. So 10 man squad. Uh, NCO has a SMG, and they're all rifles. A little bit different, a little bit different spin on it. You know, you think, hey, why don't you take Hitler's buzzsaw? These guys are fanatics. Be crazy. My kids just cranked up a TV as loud as they could upstairs. Perfect timing. Um, the other special unit is um, over here, uh, Pioneer um, Battalion. Uh, sorry, Pioneer uh, Squad uh, or Pioneer Detachment, and they have NCO with an SMG. They've got one, two, three, four, five SMGs, one LMG. And one flamethrower. They both have rifle guys with them. So close quarters. I got to somehow get them up to the Americans um, and uh, see what they can do. And then we'll go with your your first, fourth, first, second, third, and fourth. Um, hang on. Don't throw up. Don't puke. My phone turned off. Sorry. Uh, first, second, third, and fourth squads. Of the third company 343rd infantry division you got they're all 10-man squads they're all veterans uh, this one's got a first squad NCO SMG they've got two guys with SMGs and then rifles three of them and it will actually uh, five of them because those the loaders there have rifles and then they've got two light machine guns so they're they're the LMG guys. They're going to put down. They'll make up for those guys not having. Second squad is your assault rifle squad. You got your NCO with an assault rifle. I think you have one, two, three, three guys with LMGs, and then the rest might be four guys with LMGs. Then they've got uh, one, two, three, and then four, four guys with rifles, and then the LMG on the shoulder there. Uh, third squad, I've got I think, two assault rifles. There's one, two, and then a bunch of rifles. And they also have a light machine gun team. NCO has got a SMG. Fourth squad is your standard. NCO has an LMG, a bunch of rifles. And uh, they got one. Uh, LMG back there 
But these guys, two of their number have Panzerfaust. So that, come on, focus. That gentleman and that gentleman both have Panzerfaust. So they'll be able to do some damage. Uh, we went over the Pioneer Detachment. They've got flamethrowers and a machine gun and a bunch of SMGs. Uh, heavy artillery piece, 152 millimeter. They have a, come on, zoom. Ford Observer. Then you have two MG42 teams, both veterans, two 81 millimeter uh, mortars, medium mortars, both with Ford Observers. I mean, Ford Observers all over the damn place. Uh, flamethrower detachment. So you've got two flamethrowers for the Germans. Two sniper teams. I think that's one. And there's a second sniper team. And it's a one Panzer Shrek team. And then you've got two standard handle mags. And then you've got the other handle mag with the uh, light anti tank gun. Uh, they both have uh, machine guns on the front and back on those two. And this one's got the same thing, except it's got the uh, pack, is it pack 36, I guess, whatever it's 37 millimeter anti tank gun, light anti tank gun on the front. Uh, those guys are regular. So that's the Germans. I will uh, pause for a second. I'll go over and take a look at the U.S. forces, and I'll give you a total on what the Germans were because I've got to pull it up on my phone through an email. But there's the Germans attacking, and uh, they can come in on either road hex. Haven't decided yet. Might split them, might not. Splitting is usually a disaster. And. Their objective is to uh, basically take the church. Give you a quick look at the map. Get across the river, you got lots of cover. German forces holding uh, holding this side of the river, and they're like, in this sector, like, well, hell, the uh, church is valuable because of the, the observation tower, so they have to take it intact. So they just can't shell the crap out of it. They want to take it so they can basically cover farther to the, I guess that would be to the west and northwest to uh, blast any incoming uh, American forces with artillery while they're waiting for their tanks to get here. Got four buildings, uh, one's a church, uh, three of them are these thatched cottage things, Got a bunch of little trees and hills around, caught a glimpse of the American forces there, and uh, should be pretty fun. These are uh, foreground buildings. This is the Italia, whatever, Italia, uh, one from Warlord. Just get you. Came out decent. I'll tell you what, I, I was a big fan of these pre painted ones, especially after I painted this whole damn thing. Uh, but, uh, you know, a little bit of uh, uniqueness to that. But uh, that was nice having these pre made things. All right. Let's see what the American forces got going on. All right, I'll see you in a little bit. All right, here's the American forces. Um, the Germans, just to go, I'll just give you a quick brief overview of their forces. Well, I look, and the Germans have 2,446 points. Uh, order dice wise, ooh, that'd be, let me check that out. Oh, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two order dice. I, don't know, I hope I have that many. I'll, I'll figure it out. Oh, there's also a, a medic over there too. I forgot about him. I love a veteran medic. Oh, beautiful bastard. All right. I gotta look through that and make sure I got enough order dice for all that crap. I thought I think I do. I've done bigger battles than this. This was supposed to be smaller, but typical me, we, we got it out of control. U.S. forces are 2,123 points. All right, so, and they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 
14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 23 order dice. Oh, Scott, this definitely got out of control. <laughs> oh well. We'll have fun with it. We have fun slaughter. Nice. Uh, U.S. forces, uh, just from looking up in the region, I went with uh, Charlie Company, 47th Infantry Regiment. So I got 1st, 2nd, 3rd, and 4th squads. They have an attached 1st uh, squad, Alpha Company, 1st Engineers Com... First Engineer Combat Battalion. I thought it'd be Combat Engineer Battalion, but it was listed in online as First Engineer Combat Battalion. Sorry if you guys are Army engineers out there. I was a I was assigned to a Marine Infantry unit as a medic, so I was Navy. So I figured out the Marine Corps order of battle pretty good. And then I have Third Squad Bravo Company, Second Ranger Battalion. I could not have. It's just no fun without Rangers. I mean, a lot of fun. Um. Speak of which, there's your uh, your ranger squad. These guys have been in every battle I've had, I think. Uh, I love these guys to death. Uh, NCO with the old pistol and SMG combo. Got another SMG, uh, another SMG, a couple rifles. They got the usual BAR, and then they have the light machine gun. So they've got some, uh, they've got a lot of firepower. I don't know where these guys will end up be defending. We'll uh, we'll see when my partner gets here. Uh, this is your engineer battalion, eight guys. That's uh, they got the uh, same thing. Got a pistol and a machine gun. I like that look. I just kind of mixed it around a little bit. When I was making these guys. A uh, couple rifles. They got a BAR. A couple uh, SMGs. They got a flamethrower. A lot of firepower for just a short amount, small amount of group, but a close quarters killing machine team. Uh, they'll have to wait. To, if they run into the pioneers, that'll be a fun fight. Uh, then you got your first, second, third, and fourth squads. So full, uh, full company here. It's kind of nice. Uh, these are all identical makeups. There's no, uh, they're all regular too. Those two guys are veterans. Um, these guys are all regular. Uh, each squad has two BARs. Uh, they're 11 man squads. Uh, NCO with an SMG. And then the rest are rifles. So, all identical. Uh, and we've got three medium machine guns, one heavy machine gun. Uh, you've got two 81 millimeter mortars. Both have Ford observers. Um, I think they have two first lieutenants, veterans, and one captain. Oh, the Germans too. I forgot to say they have a captain up front. I like this guy. He's a he's a sly looking bastard. Where is he at? If I can zoom in, there he is. There he is. He's got his hat on, his little monocle and stuff. I like that figure. And he's got a little uh, guy with him. Forgot to talk about that. That's the second lieutenant over there. He's got his guy with a Panzerfaust with an SMG, and then he, you saw the SS evil guy. Uh, First Lieutenant's got, this one has got two guys with him, one with an SMG, one with a BAR. Uh, make that, uh, that's the guy's another First Lieutenant with just a guy with a rifle with him, and then you've got your captain is over there. There he is, the the patent looking guy got his foot on the box he's got one guy with him uh, additional stuff they've got a bazooka team I think they're veteran you've got to have a veteran medic I love my medics every time man I mean I feel like they're wasted points but if they get out there in the middle of it awesome always for my games they always seem to come out great two sniper teams uh, this is a brand new model for me uh, it's a long tom, 105, 155. I think it's a 155. So even always before I had uh, the 105s, and the Germans always had the big stuff. So it's kind of nice giving the Americans an example. This is from like Mad Mike, I think his name was. So it was I found it online, but it ended up being great. Did not have uh, units with it, so I had to take kind of modify uh, a British 12-pounder crew from Perry. 
and uh, got them all glued in there. I gotta redo it a little bit. I, when I tried to do the clear coat, it came out kind of jacked, so I'm gonna retouch that up, but I wanted to get into this battle, the first one. Um, it's nice having a big American gun. That thing's impressive. Um, two standard half tracks, both with 50 cals up front. This one's got the extra uh, 30s all around it. This one's just got one in the back. I shouldn't have any, it just has one up top. I just had an extra figure I put in there. And, but he's got some camouflage, so it looks cool. And then over here we have a, I think it's an M4 with a, a 81 millimeter mortar inside and a 50 cal. Um, that's going to be a fun little unit. That's like the uh, closest thing to a tank in this game, which I've never had a game without tanks. That's why I thought like I only had less order dice. But uh, there you go. Um, Germans have more. Americans have advantage. They're going to be defending. So we'll see what happens. Um, we'll get turned. We'll get the setup all done. And uh, then we'll, we'll be back to tell you about that. All right. See ya. All right. Here's a view from way downtown. U.S. forces are set up. My opponent is set up. Now i got to try to ponder where to come in at. Uh, he's got his first regular infantry squad in the woods coming off the right hand. Uh, so that would be the north bridge. Um, I'll get up and move around in a minute. He's got a forward observer for one of his mortars and a sniper in there as well. Uh, backing them up. He's got one of his first lieutenants and he also has his combat engineers not in the woods behind the woods so they can react either way probably uh, second I come over the top and start engaging he'll just move into the woods and it's flamethrower time. Um, he's got a 30 cal in that building Another 30 cal in that building, both, both pointing out those windows coming at the covering the bridges very nicely. Uh, in the church, he put the rangers. Not a bad move, I do say so myself. The top L, uh, top level's got the Ford Observer for the heavy artillery. Through the first floor and the part of the tower, he'll have the rangers in the and then the top three windows on this side and the top three windows on that side. Another window here and the one in the back. He's got a 50 cal and a 30 cal. So, uh, well, before we get started, I'll just have him designate which window he wants the guys to move to. And he just has to move back and forth and put which window he wants each machine gun to fire out of before they can do anything. And then we'll keep him there. We'll try to keep track of all that crap. I think that building is empty. Uh, he's got React Force he's, with the two half tracks on the road. Whichever side I decide to come in from, he can. Uh, he's going to blitz it. Looks like he's got uh, one of the uh, second squad and let's say his third and fourth squads, the regular infantry. Uh, one in the north, one in the uh, farther up half track, one in the back one. Over here behind this hill, he's got one of his infantry, regular infantry uh, squads. And then he's got one of his, his other first lieutenant over here. So they will uh, come out and cover that. He's a sniper team hidden nicely there. 30 cal in there. Uh, I'll come back around here without tripping and breaking my neck. Got your heavy howitzer back here. He's got his half track on the hill with the mortar. On that little hill, he's got one of his 81 millimeter mortars. Uh, there's your two half tracks with the infantry loaded up inside, and then he's got another 81 millimeter half track over there. I mean, an uh, 81 millimeter mortar over there. Uh, bazooka team just kind of centralized outside the church. He's got his captain kind of centralized with his adjutant, and he's got the medic there. They're going to go where the fighting is, probably. And there's the uh, engineers ready to pile out. And your other first lieutenant with his uh, two adjutants. Uh, yeah. 
kind of got all the bases covered as far as I can tell. Looks more of a uh, wherever I go kind of react kind of thing. Got machine guns covering both bridges. It's going to be uh, ugly probably. And mortar is zeroed in all over the damn place. I always got a observer. We've got a sport observer for this mortar team on the right there. It's other. Oh yeah, there's other Ford observers in the trees with that sniper team over there. That's for the left. Is for that mortar. That one's for that mortar. What kind of view this dude has? He's far enough back, probably outside of rifle range, so he can see the bridges. This guy will be able to throw mortars down too. It's gonna be ugly. All right. Well, I'll figure out what the hell I'm going to do, and uh, we'll come on back. And that'll be, uh, I'll set up now, and then we're going to turn one. So I'll give him time to check out where I'm going to be, and then he can uh, plan his first move of reacting. All right, I'll see you. All right, for better, for worse, <laughs> this is not what I'd recommend as a military commander. I don't know how the hell I attack across the bridge anyway. That's insane. I think I just would have blown it up. Uh, I'm coming across the North Bridge like a freaking moron. All right, um, Germans have to start within 12 inches of that hex, uh, whatever side. So either this side or that side. Um, on the other side of the river. So that gives you a little bit of leeway, but it's basically going to be a meat grinder as usual, as any frontal assault across the bridge usually is. Uh, got 4th Squad, regular uh, veteran infantry, uh, uh, veteran infantry unit right there. Uh, expecting heavy casualties, the medics right there behind them, plus the second lieutenant with his adjutant. They're ready to put these guys back together again because they're going to take most of the hit heat. This is the squad with uh, the two uh, light machine guns, so they should be able to pour out a lot of firepower. Um, we'll see how it goes. They're going to be head to head with a uh, infantry unit, sniper team, spotters, you know, machine guns. Everything else is going to be hitting them hard here. We'll see who can see each other, but they're coming in, um, backing them up. I got another uh, regular infantry unit coming up behind them. Not sure where the hell they're going to go. We'll see who the hell survives when these artillery rounds start hitting. Um, the observers are here. That is the German heavy artillery piece. Uh, that is a. Uh, and those two guys there are for the mortar teams, which are back here in the back. They have some visibility of the trees there. That's about it. Um, not sure how I'm going to put round. I'm going to probably go for direct hits right away. We'll see how, how that plays out. The phone, of course, is ringing in the middle of that. Turn that off, sorry. Um, got a sniper team coming in there. I've got three half tracks loaded up. Uh, front half track has got the combat engineers, the pioneers. Second half track has got a veteran infantry squad, and the third one's got the SS infantry. So they are uh, third, second, first. They have the AT gun on it. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, I've got another infantry uh, squad along with the SS officer coming up the left. Both the machine guns. Captain's in the middle there. You get some snap two orders going. Got the Panzer Shrek team with them. Those are your two mortars. So we'll uh, we'll see how it goes. Turn one coming up. Americans, I'm sure we'll be uh, shifting and repositioning and packing them in. Uh, I'm gonna go kamikaze with these across the bridge. See what the hell gets blown up as I go across. All right, we'll see. It's going to be fun. Ciao. All right, turn one was a, well, it's a bit of a military catastrophe. I've seen worse. 
<laughs> ah, I wrote a script down to uh, get all the gory details so I didn't forget anything. But there's a lot of movement going on towards this north bridge. Can put some tombstones up on this one. All right, so I got what we got here. Uh, first thing at the bag. Uh, oh yeah, the German handle mag with the light anti-tank gun roared across the bridge and it fired its light AT gun into first squad Charlie Company that was sitting in those woods. Uh, got a kill. Must have put a, a round right through somebody's chest. <laughs> put a pin on him. Nothing too exciting. Uh, Germans are all like, celebrating, breaking out the Jaeger, and then a spotter in the church tower radios into the 155 on the long time. They unload and freaking direct hit, roll the six. And that was where fourth squad was for the Germans. Uh, so blew seven of them to hell with the first, the first shot. That was tons of pins. They got three or four, three pins on them. They lost half their guys. Their morale, they failed their morale check, and the rest of them just took their guns out and shot themselves in the head. So that's, they got a dice out of the bag already. There's, that was my first kill dice. Only one so far. Mick Ultra sponsored this one too. Uh, Americans went again. They have their spotter up in these trees. Uh, he's right. Where is he? Oh, he's like under. He's under there. There he is. He's on his uh. He's on his walkie-talkie. There's a U.S. mortar team back behind that tree. You can see their head a little bit. They've lobbed around out here. Who are they shooting at? Uh, they were going after these. Uh, actually, this the squad that's here. They tried to land around on them here. I can actually pick this dice up because they've advanced. Uh, they missed, so they would have been ranging in. Don't have to worry about that anymore. Um, the pioneers were in that handle mag, so that the next dice was theirs. Uh, there was no one across the bridge at that time. I didn't want to get them wiped out immediately, so I, I pulled them and hid them behind these woods, so they're kind of out of sight. Uh, I'm waiting for some some consolidation, and I'm going to try to rush these dudes across and attack. But the the pioneers are all safe and sound behind those trees right there. They're nicely covered. Uh, half track carrying the U.S. Third Squad, who's still inside. They're down inside of there. They came hauling ass up the road. Next round, they'll next turn they'll be ready to employ their 50 cal on people coming across the bridge. I'm sure Third Squad will bail out too and go right into the fighting. So they're in a good position. They're Followed a little. That's the uh, that's the other half track back. That's one of the other half tracks back there. Uh, yeah, that was the next move up. The U.S. mortar or half track moved up to the bottom of the road there. So they're kind of they've got a nice shot up the road here at the bridge. So if people start landing rounds in the middle of this catastrophe, it's uh, it's not going to be pretty. Uh, the German 152 in these woods. Got their spotters over here in front of me. He's right here. You can see those guys. He put a round out. They missed. You see an explosion there. That wasn't from the. That was from a mortar later on. And that was. So they. If that first squad doesn't move, they're going to be five or six on the next turn with a 152. Uh, the other half American half track went next. Kind of right there. It drove up the road. Uh, later on, you'll see the U.S. Four, uh, I think that's third squad or fourth. That's fourth squad. Disembarked. They're starting to weave their way up through these buildings. Uh, what, what do we do next? There was so much shit going on. I'm sorry, I had to write it all down. Uh, third squad. Actually, these guys right here. Sorry, I'm going to zoom back out. Make you show up. This Hannah Mag drove on the bridge. It fired a machine gun and put a pin, I think, on uh, the U.S. First Squad. These Germans piled out. Um, they unloaded. They only, they only, like, I think they had one hit. 
Secret Squad in the book. They did. They fired. Did one casualty and one pin. They had a lot of bonuses from moving and running and a little bit over, you know, half range. And they, but they were able to get a kill and a pin on that. Poor first squad is pinned to crap. Um, I think the mortar hit them next, and that just crushed them. That killed a couple guys. Uh, German media mortar nailed first squad. Two kills, and they are of all their pins are up to six now. So they're. They've got two guys zeroing in on them, and they've got six pins, and they've got a giant hole in the middle of their forces too. So most of the German firepower has been against them. Um, second German mortar also fired on the mist. Uh, the U.S. sniper in here, where's he at? I'm up. It's Mohawk. He fired around. Tried to kill one of the medium uh, light machine guns with uh, this infantry squad crossing the bridge, but he missed. He did put a pin on him, though, so he actually hit, but didn't kill anybody. Uh, the U.S. engineers ran up next. They came up from the far side of the woods. They are filtering in here, and they are going to add their firepower. They're in light cover. That's a lot of firepower. Those engineer squads bring a lot. Uh, the U.S. bazooka team advanced up the road. He is behind a tree right in there. With uh, the medics next to him, the other Hannah Mag moved up. A lot of moving up after that. Then we had some snap two orders. Uh, the, the German captain got the, both MG forty uh, twos going. They got the Panzer Shrek advancing. The SS uh, lieutenant uh, got a sniper team going and a flamethrower team. Um, so they're advancing. The only place guys who didn't really advance with the, the two mortars, they don't really need to. They got their spotters up here. Um, first squad of the Germans advanced into the water with a snap to order from uh, this lieutenant with his uh, adjutant. And he brought the medic with him. That medic should be rolling some dice pretty soon. This is going to be a ugly fight here. Real ugly. <laughs> the other American, uh, I'll go from the other side here. Other U.S. forces that were covering the South Bridge, so you'll see the good look at these uh, force squad advancing around this bush. There was an MG, uh, sorry, a 30 cal in that building that fired, and I, th I think it put a pin on a, uh, put a pin on these guys here. Didn't kill anybody. And then the 50 cal went on ambush in that top window. 30 cal went in the ambush on that window, and then uh, Rangers filtered into the tower, and they've got a couple of these windows covered. Say a guy each can fire to that. They're gonna need their light machine gun and a couple of their VARs firing out that window. If anybody comes around the corner there, oh, U.S. captain up there, he's moved forward. He's getting ready to support those that infantry, the third squad, when they disembark. This half track will back up that half track, I'm assuming. Not liking the way my, my boy freaking loaded these guys, the Americans, in pretty good. It's collapsing well. And uh, the infantry is moving up. There's an officer bringing those guys up. That Ford Observer for the second U.S. mortar team is moving up. These guys were covering the other bridge. You have to cover both of them just in case. There's a sniper team he moved up to. So, a lot of movement. Boom, that 152 hit somebody. Before this guy waxes out my whole team with the long tom. A lot of mortars. American mortars are going to be, uh, I might get lucky this other spotter. This guy might have direct vision pretty soon if that half track wasn't his way. You might be able to see down there. That mortar will be firing on the bridge. That mortar is going to be firing on the bridge. The 152. This guy will probably cut left at some point, or we might cover the right and just cover the north side of the, the, the uh, I mean, the east side of the church. That'll uh, try to cut me off from anything. I'm assuming he'll do that. So, should be good. I'll have, unless I get, well, the first dice out of the bag is going to be important. If, I, if he starts pulling stuff and uh, 
drops an artillery round or two or three in the middle of all that disaster. I'm uh, <laughs> I'm done, done so baby. It's all about the dice. I'll have to uh, swim back across the river. I'm gonna go back on the lazy river and float away. Awesome. All right, good first turn. It's nice to be back in the old bolt action saddle. These guys have packed some paint rounds, didn't pack real rounds. All right, see you a little bit. Round turn two coming up. Oh, we've got an emergency update for you. Beginning of round two. Uh, two dice out of the bag so far. Engineers pulled first. My cool ass son tried to melt down my freaking uh, Panzer Grenadiers in here. Thankfully, it was seven inches, so his flamethrower was short and couldn't fire. Otherwise, it would have been Melt City. They just got a pin on these guys. That's it. They, hit, they got a couple hits and no kills. So thank God for veterans. Those couple rocks they were hiding behind. Uh, and then these guys were on the bridge. They advanced down. They kicked off both their light machine guns. And first squad that was in those trees chilling, having some emotional problems. <laughs> had six pins go into this round. Uh, these guys did make the morale checks. So they shook their one pin. Uh, they fired their three SMGs, their two light machine guns, and everything else that had rifles. And uh, did enough damage to where they forced a desperation morale. They got them over the halfway point and with uh, seven pins on them. It, and a fistful of ambient. They just couldn't quite uh, overcome it. So, two dice in. Second casualty of the game. Tied up 1-1 on dice. First squad. Happy Independence Day. You're toast! Sorry, guys. Alright. Second round continues. What will happen next? It could be the last turn the way it's going. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you. More turn two action. It just doesn't... Oh, it just keeps on getting worse. Oh, all right. Germans have pulled like three dice out of the bag in a row. So they second lieutenant or first lieutenant here did the snap too. He got his medic up onto the hill, brought himself up. These guys advanced out of the river or ran actually. They can't do crap. They're sitting there uh, with the officer being close to this uh, pioneer. I mean, not pioneer. These. Uh, veteran infantry unit it was able to give them the bonus that pushed them over the top so they could make the morale check they advanced they shed one pin they're down to two they unloaded on the engineers um, they needed sixes to hit since they were point blank range uh, with all the pins and everything else in the cover and uh, I think all they, all they did was get a pin they didn't do anything uh, this half track rolled up next and uh, unloaded with his MG42 and killed like one guy that put another pin on it and then they just kept pulling German dice uh, the, the 152 put a round in and rolled a 5 so it missed but probably scared the crap out of the engineers they're, they're, while they were putting their diapers on the uh, first 81 millimeter mortar dropped around right in the middle of them uh, blew three, uh, yeah, three of them to hell and so they were underneath the morale check with I think like six or seven pins on them after that nightmare and uh, they just they fucking put a hole in the flamethrower can and blew themselves to shit so I'll see you with the barbecue I guess you are a barbecue they're toast alright so Americans lost first squad and their engineer detachment here so uh, all that's left really here's a Ford Observer and a sniper and there's an officer back there so he might have to try to I don't know what my boy's gonna do. He needs to pull some damn green dice though pretty soon. Because the Germans are getting a foothold. Still got the uh, pioneers to move. And I'm getting guys off the bridge, which is a big thing. So we'll see what happens next. It's really gonna matter. The 150 the 155, the long tom back there is the, the freaking equalizer. So if it hits a round right in the middle of somebody, it's gonna just it's gonna be body parts everywhere. Plus his mortar rounds can come down, so should be. Let's see what happens. Just really depends on who pulls dice next. Let's see what's up. All right. Too exciting not to talk about. We'll see you. 
The fucking U.S. barbecue continues. Oh my god. So, uh, U.S. half track came running down the road thinking he's a badass and unloaded his 50 cal onto these guys and got like got like one hit, no two hits, but didn't kill a damn person. So I put a pin on him. So that was kind of anticlimactic. The pioneers jumped out of the trees, and I just I I know they could have used all their machine guns somewhere else, but I, I wanted to use the flamethrower and the flame. <laughs> <laughs> flamethrower fucking barbecues the uh, half track uh, I know there's a still a 30 cal in there and a shit of these trees there's all kinds of stuff so well you know what you only get to you only get to live once so they came out and they barbecued his ass that was pretty good for the pioneers that was worth the price of admission yes alright turn two love it guess who's coming to dinner Oh shit. The SS just fucking piled out of that handle mag into the woods. Officer was sitting here with his boys. Oh shit, SS. They start just hacking up babies and stuff. These guys are crazy, fanatic fucks. They're eating tree bark. They're coming at them with hatchets. They unloaded on them. They killed both adjutants, give them a pin. So, uh, this officer's gonna get taken prisoner and tortured next round. They're fucking killing them. They're in the woods. Going crazy. True believers, they're psychos. Oh, I forgot something, too. Uh, I gotta read the rules real quick to brush up on the fate of this unit here. Uh, the half track, I forgot this uh, third squad was actually in that half track when it got baked by the flamethrower. So I have to see what happens to them. Um, I gotta read up on that because I've never had. And I've never had infantry inside of a half track when it got blown up. I should have exited those guys for when on the suicide round. Or he, sorry, my boy should have exited those guys. A uh, little uh, oversight there. We will see what happens here. All right, ciao. Pierce and I had a talk um, after reading the rules. They have to dismount. They take D6 hits. Since of a flamethrower, we added the penetration onto it. Um, they got one pin for getting hit by the flamethrower. I'm going to check and see if that gets more. Let me actually look at that. Flamethrowers. Now they'll just do one hit. Um, actually, they're actually... They roll a dice. I think it's still just one hit. So I, I would put more on it personally. But no matter how many rounds they get one pin. I would put like fucking 12 on them. But uh, one pin. We're saying they have to go down because they... The, if they would have come out, I think the... I would have just slammed the SS unit right into them and uh, just bayoneted the pieces out of them. So they're down, they lost three guys, and they got a pin, but they survived. So there you go. Instant reinforcements. We'll see how long they stay there. But that's, uh, if that's wrong, mob bust. Not going to lose any sleep over it. Felt pretty good. Pretty good interpretation. Pretty good uh, just because we screwed up one time. It was a. A good compromise. So, we shall see. All right, ciao. You heard of the Empire Strikes Back. Now it's the U.S. Mortar Team Strikes Back. Oh, I got a wrong color dice, and I can switch that. Eighty-one millimeter mortar. Boom! Spotter in the trees. Knows he's about to die. On the line, calls it in. The motherfucker shoot! And he drops the round right in the middle of them. Real lot of sixes. Freaking bam! Took out two of their guys. Big thing was uh, five pins plus the one they had, so up to six pins. They could be uh, on the struggle bus for a little bit here. That's a uh, whoo, bam! All right, that's well, good for the U.S. Pierce is celebrating. He's laughing in my face. What a dick! All right, see you. Wow, what a turn to uh, a lot of housekeeping stuff after all the interruptions. Well, not really interruptions. Updates in the middle. Uh, Germans continue. My boys are pouring across. They've got everyone across, basically. They got one. They got two forward observers and two mortars back there. One of the forward observers has actually moved forward. The second mortar team they never even fired. It's too much carnage. Uh, they're all getting across the bridge. Support weapons coming across. Snipers. I mean, we got SS infantry in the woods. 
and then some veteran infantry everywhere. So good push. I'm happy. Uh, Pierce decided to uh, cut his losses, or treated with his officer, ways of pass his morale. Got a sniper team, did a snap two order, got a sniper team out of there instead of losing them. Uh, they retreated out of the woods. This U.S. infantry unit shifted to the left. He's trying to consolidate his left flank. Keep this mortar team safe. If you can get him pinned down somewhere, he can start raining in fire. I'm sure if I, I'll stop in the trees, and then he can start dropping rounds on me. Uh, it's hard to leave cover when you got it. Not sure what's going to be the fate of those guys. It's going to be fun. They still got a 30 cal in that building. When they're, one of their officers moved into that building with the 30 cal. Try to make it a strong point. Still backed up by the uh, rangers in the church. Couldn't really fire at anything. And got a 30 cal and a 50 cal up in the church. They'll probably get. They're all in ambush. They also got a bazooka team right there in ambush. So if I make any moves, they're going to have a lot of things to shoot at it. Uh, the Americans. I think Pierce was going to make them to the right flank, but then we lost all those troops on the in the center. He kind of brought these guys back to the left. Brought an officer with them. Uh, that's a Ford Observer for the second mortar team, and then a fresh infantry unit. I think that's uh, that's second squad. I think it is. Pull this half track back and behind a little bit of cover, covering the road. Just taking more of a defensive posture now. Form a second line now that the first line got crushed. Move that 30 cal out of the building. He's trying to consolidate the right. I think there's a sniper over there too. So a little bit of uh, he's up against the church. Just keeping that right flank uh, covered. And then if he can, probably hoping he can stop my advance, make me dig in a little bit, and then he can start wearing me out with artillery. Um, I'll have to stop at some point because I need to get these damn support weapons going, so it's probably not a bad plan. It's hard to fire machine guns when they're always having to run forward to keep with, up with the troops. Whew, plus my Ford Observer is at the reposition now, so it's going to be... Uh, Probably a good move by Pierce. He's going to get probably two rounds of shelling, so he'll get sixes on the first, then fives and sixes. So maybe even if it gets pulls early dice, he get four, fives, and sixes and dropping rounds on people and splattering them. That's all it really takes is some good artillery. All right, that's the end of the second round. That was a hell of a good round. Enjoyed the heck out of it. Uh, still got that last guy in the trees, Ford Observer. I'm sure the SS are going to see him. They're going to hatch it into death. They're going to pull their pocket knives out, start chopping them up, make some beef jerky. Bunch of crazy bastards. And uh, we'll see what happens in round three. I hope it's just as good. I'll take a little break for a minute. Oof. Get some stuff done for my wife so she doesn't get pissed off that we're slacking. All right. See ya. Oh my God. The barbecue continues. Well, at least Third Squad got a shot. They, they, Cacked off some rounds and killed two of the pioneers, but next out of the bag was the pioneers and between machine guns and that's the, the flamethrower. <laughs> they are roasted. Killed everybody, man. Put the barbecue sauce on them. They are toast. Ugh. Uh, just beginning of turn three here. These uh, veteran. Uh, Veteran infantry moved into the woods and they stabbed a Ford Observer to death and uh, unloaded on the sniper that was over here and killed him. Um, Germans advancing. Oh God. It's horrible. Turn three continues. Blitzkrieg. What the fuck? Still going strong, baby. Second half. First half track rolls up. Uh, Gonna, was going to fire his anti-tank gun through the window at that uh, 30 cal in there. Triggered the uh, ambush from the bazooka team that's hiding in those trees. Can't really get a look at them. Where are those bazooka teams? There they are. Bazooka team fired, missed. Uh, half track and the shell went over the front windshield. They're like, oh shit! They fired. It must have distracted them enough. They fired their anti tank gun, hit the side of the building, missed the, missed going to, missed taking out the 30 cal. 
Second half track, it's like, oh shit, I gotta get that guy and back my boy up. He rolls forward with his uh, MG42 to smoke his ass, but he triggers the ambush of the 50 cal from that window. Fires down, plinks him a couple times, gives him a gives him a freaking pin. Still able to overcome the 50 cal bullets and mows down the uh, the bazooka team. They're gone. Toast. Oh, turn three. Awesome. Units from the church finally opened up as snipers moved into the woods. German snipers moving up. Rangers fired out of the tower. Wore out one of the snipers. Still got one over there. The uh, German captain's in there. He did a snap two order. Got his boys in the woods. Uh, got a machine gun in there too. Moved the other, other ordered the other machine gun to start supporting the right side. Uh, 30 cal fired at the SS infantry and missed. We talked about the Rangers, and then uh, 81 millimeter. This spotter still lost behind the church somewhere. He had vision on this, uh, had the line of sight on this Hannah mag, so he put a round down range and missed. So not very exciting, but at least the Americans were able to scratch a German pin uh, dice off the, off the off the board. Still, uh, Germans are quite pleased with their advance. They wiped out three full American squads so far. And a couple support units, sniper, bazooka team. Uh, the Germans still have all their, except for their one squad they lost off when the 155 drilled them. They're doing pretty good. All right, turn three continues. That about says it all. U.S. First Lieutenant. Couldn't get out of there fast enough. He tried to retreat. Germans advancing through the woods, half track, rolled up through there, fired the MG 42, and wasted. That unit's already gone. Took out the sniper. Those guys just advanced up on the edge. But you've got, and then that SS haven't gone yet either. There's a, another unit. Yeah, man, it's just, there's tons of Germans. They're coming through the woods. It's like gooks in the wire, man. It's crazy. Charlie's coming, baby. Turn three. The medic just was one inch too far away to help him out. Couldn't help him. Oh. What will Pierce do? He's going to get pissed at me. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Turn three comes to a conclusion. Uh, a good turn. Not the best turn, but yeah. Flame time of time a flamethrower bakes somebody. It's a damn good turn. Germans are basically moving up. Uh, this unit rallied up, shook all their pins. The artillery piece tried to fire in on them and missed, zeroing in on them. The two mortars fired in on this guy. A, where's the third mortar? They had a third mortar shoot in too at somebody else. I can't remember where the hell that went. I think that was oh, at that, the uh, combat engineers. So there was a lot of rounds. Three, three mortar rounds landed in there. All missing and a uh, 155 millimeter howitzer round landed in there. German artillery was quiet. Uh, the forward observers moved up onto the bridge. The mortars are going to be out of range. They're going to have to move forward. Uh, they weren't expecting a, a successful push like this, so that's pleasantly surprised. Uh, Americans have moved up a sniper team and a medium machine gun team. They're in the behind some trees over there by the church. They're tying in nicely with the Rangers and the 30 cal and the 50 cal up in there in the church. Uh, Pierce has moved up his uh, second squad. Uh, they're holding at the end of the church. They're gonna, I think he's planning on a react kind of thing, wait for the Germans to come to them and then bounce out. He also moved up his. Uh, looked like they were gonna. They were faint to the left. I thought they were gonna go left at least because I started moving troops left or to the, my right, Randy swung back to protect his center. So that was a good move by him. The Americans definitely maneuver better than everybody else in the game. Uh, one of his mortars moved up on a hill there. That half track went into ambush in case some infantry come up that way. Uh, one of his forward observers for his, one of his, his uh, mortar back here on the this mortar moved into those uh, moved into that building. So got that 30 cal and that uh, Officer in that building, they're about to 
There's two flamethrowers within a couple feet of them, so they're probably going to get roasted. Uh, it's basically just, and all of the uh, ambushes have been sprung, so the Americans will have to pull pins, pull dice, and get them into ambush quick. I guess that 30 cal, a 50 cal, could try to fire and intercept them. That'd be a hell of a shot. Germans also advanced the uh, SS are coming out to chop people up. They're getting, they're coming up the hill. They're either going to attack and uh, murder that Ford observer in that building, and then hang out in there, have a barbecue, or engage the American the third squad. So, shoot. Good turn so far. Uh, good game so far. Americans, uh, the Germans just outrun their support. None of their machine guns have actually gotten to, but they're finally getting in a position where they might be able to unload and support some infantry. And their mortars are too far back now. I'm not sure their spotters can even, they can see a couple things, but nothing probably too crucial. Uh, we'll see. I, I like to have my fire support and I like my bases of fire, so. We'll see what I can do. Uh, I'm going to go seven turns if anybody's still alive. See a couple more flamethrowers going off this turn. Germans still have a couple Panzerfausts out there. Their Panzerstreck team moved up into there. They've, uh, but the American vehicles are, what's left of them are staying, staying back. German vehicles just kamikaze. They're just, they're doing, uh, they're pretty effective. I don't know. I, I think uh, Pierce might be, learn something and go go ahead and go a little bit crazy on these guys. So we'll see what happens. All right, turn four coming up. Turn four starts off with a crack of lacking. Oh God! First dice out of the bag, sniper. Ford observer, those up in there. Did that takes the eye takes the eyes away from the 155. They're on the phone going hello, hello. Hello, 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 the Ford Observer's dead. They have to be direct line of sight. Great sniper shot. Sorry, Pierce. Two. Turn four, second dice. Could be awesome. Flamethrower runs up. Torches the friggin' uh, 30 cal in the building. Got overkill. Fried them dead. A building probably gonna be on fire. There's another officer still inside of there. Maybe they got the asbestos up in that bitch. Oh, barbecue. And rename turn four to the barbecue turn. Uh, pioneers passed their morale check, barely, thanks to the officer in the woods. They got a little bonus. They rolled up and got their flamethrower and shot through the window and wiped out the officer that was inside there. So he's toast. First Lieutenant barbecued along with the uh, machine gun. That building, that building would be on. I'm gonna set fire to that building. Ah, it's burning. How fast it burns. There you go. Building's on fire. <laughs> oh, God, everybody's dying. It sucks. Long Tom says, fuck you, baby. 152, 155 goes direct on the handle mag with the light anti-tank gun direct hit blows it to shit and then the flamethrower team was inside the circle so they got the shit blown out of them too oh fuck that was awesome <laughs> <laughs> fucking damn oh that thing went anti-tank mode boom that was a great shot oh Fuck, that sucked. 30 cal team and then the uh, rangers firing out of the church were able to team up and wipe out the, uh, the German MG42 team right there. They sliced them to pieces. They're dead. It's tough. It's going to be tough taking this church. Shoo! It's tough to get these support weapons in position to actually get them to survive around. All right, turn four continues. The frickin' standoff on the grassy knoll. Uh, third squad came over the top, 11 strong. Unloaded on the SS. They killed like four of them. One, two, three. Yeah, they got six guys left. Killed four of them. 
uh, put a couple pins on them. A mortar fired from back there uh, over here. That mortar went direct fire on the SS and missed. So they were really Americans were pouring it to them there. They got the other next dice too. Then their medic moved up to try to back them up when they got return fire. Germans got a couple dice in a row. That uh, officer came up to help them out. And he snapped to it and brought that. Uh, where is it at? Oh shit, there it is. MG42 up and brought their medic up. Wherever he is, he's in there somewhere. There he is, little bastard. And uh, then the Germans, the SS fired back. Well, I got rifles, I don't have a lot, but they just awesome shooting. They killed six of the Ger of the Americans. The medic had a chance for six chances at getting sixes and missed every single thing. So he's like the worst medic ever so far. I'm not happy with him. That's very non-medic-like uh, for my games. Uh, they did pass their desperation morale, um, so they're still in the fight. But, oh, good job. I think we'll uh, probably see some hand-to-hand -hand here real soon. Jesus. I think the Germans could have, but I think they didn't have enough SMGs, so I just held off. I'm, America's going to get that far. We'll see what happens next. Sweet. Great fight. My son has lost his ever-living mind, his other... Uh, Infantry unit, the uh, second squad that was behind the church there. Thought they'd wait and ambush. Hell no. Just snapped to order, moved his officer behind that building. All 11 guys ran out, went full auto on the, uh, on the freaking SS. They got seven kills. The medic saved one, stopped one of them. So there's only six of them anyway. <laughs> The SS crumple and die like the the bosses they are. Since the SS are kind of dicks anyway, who cares? I'm glad they're all dead. Sorry if anybody likes the SS out there. I think they're cool looking uniforms. I think they're a good unit, but they're a bunch of dicks. So they're dead. Bye. Where a lot of turns end with you know some the last couple moves are at least for me uh, are kind of like maneuvering behind the scenes. You've got all your good pieces go first. This fucking turn just ended phenomenally. It was fucking jam-packed. I mean, there was barely any bullshit in this. I mean, the only bullshit really was the mortars moving up. But turn four was awesome. Uh, Pierce freaking made turn four awesome, thankfully, instead of holding back like I probably would have. He brought his brought third squad and second squad into direct, you know, did Americans do good? They move and shoot. This squad came over the top, like I said before. They shot up the SS. This squad came over and got up the SS. Um, SS got wiped out by those guys. Uh, second squad. Uh, Germans had all, all the dice left in the bag were Germans, so we got a a snap two order from where is he? That officer right there. He pulled, these guys were back in the woods, they came out, they advanced out of the woods. This other snap too was this other unit that was on the edge of the woods, so they are kind of flanking, they, they just ran. These guys advanced, they unloaded on the poor, uh, poor U.S. infantry. <laughs> they killed three more, but the medic saved one. Then the half-track rolled up and killed two more. But the half track saved another one of them. So, the, I mean, the medic saved another one. So, the medic saved, I think, two or three, two guys at least, maybe three. Uh, they made their desperation morale check. There's just two guys left. They got three pins. It's just an SMG and a BAR. Uh, they're, they're going out like bosses. It's, it's kind of reminiscent of how the Rangers were in other games where the, they just keep, you know, they just keep on ticking. Uh, Probably would have been the the last shot of the game. If, I mean, the last shot of the round would have been the ultimate nightmare for the Americans. Uh, the only thing when this second squad ran out there and into the open to kill them, they did expose themselves to uh, Spotter up on the on the hill. And the Spotter, of course, was on the phone with, "Hey man, what y'all doing?" And they friggin' shot a school bus and rolled a five. They just missed. I mean, one more little trickle of the dice, and they would have. Those guys would have been all over the sides of the church and the other buildings and everywhere else and up on the hills. Uh, just missed, so 
Uh, I don't think the Americans are going to hold in place out there in the open. <laughs> uh, pretty awesome turn, though. It's freaking awesome. All right. That's what we got. Uh, Tarot's the end of turn four. I'm going to charge this thing for turn five, turn six, and turn seven. We'll see how it goes out. This has been uh, it's been a great game. I've enjoyed the hell out of it. Uh, just something we kind of threw together real quick. It was fun getting some buildings up. And it's been good. Hopefully I have another game on Saturday. Just a smaller 800 point game or 700, very 800 point game against uh, Greg. We're just going to play on half the map. And you probably keep the town the same. Uh, and that'll be awesome. All right. I'm going to go charge this thing, and then we'll come back and we'll do uh, get some food, have a beer, come back and do uh, turn five. Oh, I don't even know what my tactics. I've got a couple ideas. I still got two full, three full squads, really. They're sitting here. But uh, I can't really use the flamethrower on the church. It's kind of against the rules. I'd like to. Uh, but I'm going to storm in there and go hand to hand after I kill everybody else. All right, that'll do it. I got to try to hide from that thing. Go out in the middle of the street, and this thing just does direct fire on it. I have to send a Hannah mag after that thing. Hopefully, it survives a front on assault. All right, I'll see it. Everyone knew it. The turn five was going to come down to uh, first dice out of the bag. German officer did a snap too. This German infantry unit advanced over the hill. Got three kills on the last two guys. The medic was able to pull one guy back from the brink, but two of them did. The last that squad's wiped out. Also, this squad advanced forward and unloaded into that full infantry squad there for the U.S. or last remaining full squad besides the Rangers and wiped out seven of them so a rough start <laughs> turn five baby oh they still have what's left of that group still has a artillery strip from the howitzer locked in at a five so the next dice yo that shell might be coming on in just finish them off plastic those bastards all right to the rest of turn five peace ah uh, you'll notice second squads or third squad's gone. Oh, second squad's gone the same way as third squad for the U.S. Next dice out of the bag was uh, that officer right there. He put his sunglasses on. I wear my sunglasses at night, homie. He ran up there, did a snap two order, pulled the medic up. He even him and his adjutant both they got a pistol and SMG and loaded into the, the platoon the squad and killed one of them. And then these guys ran up with their double LMGs and just. Toasted him done. That officer's out in the road by himself. No, Johnny! Get on the radio! That could be dead here in a minute. Oh, God. At least they're, uh, they're going to be exposed to a lot of 50 cals for Pierce. Let's see if he can actually roll some good dice. 30 cal and a 50 cal will probably unload on him. But the medic's there to... Whew, magic band-aids. See what happens. Flurry of activity for the Americans. Uh, 30 cal unloaded on the... Uh, Double machine gun squad, killed two guys, put a pin on them. The, with the squad out of the way, didn't have to worry about who was in the, in their view. They, they fired their 50 cal from ambush. They hit twice, but didn't kill anybody. So they got, uh, actually hit three times. And uh, I rolled like ones and two, or Pierce rolled ones and two, sorry. So uh, they still got uh, just two pins now. And then for the going for it all they launched a mortar round but and uh... but they missed so they're on fives and sixes i don't think that squad's going to be there but you never know all right let's pull the german dice let's see what happens next yeah you guessed it the pioneers surged forward and barbecued the medium machine gun toast oh it's like everything's on fire Oof. <laughs> I'm so sad. Sorry, Pierce. And if that wasn't enough, the Hanel Mag moved forward with this MG42 and just killed that freaking sniper team. Oh, the Rangers, what can they do? Oh, no. 
gonna pull that pin dice. It's getting kind of getting kind of shady around here. It's beginning to end. The Americans are up to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, there'll be 12 word dice in the bag, and the Germans will have 6. Oh. Well, turn 5 got effectively put on ice with the uh, German artillery. Uh, put in 3 rounds of smoke. Uh, one hit target, blocking off the Rangers from shooting the Pioneers. And the Americans were directed one to the river for no effect, and then <clears throat> were able to shield the uh, their officers so I could retreat with the second one. Uh, the Hannah Mag did run over the top there and kill that last mortar team, or the second to last mortar team. But uh, yeah, the U.S. artillery took a crack at the, the Germans on the bridge, but didn't, I mean, right at the edge of the bridge, but missed them again. And uh, that's about it. So we got three smoke counters down, fires everywhere. It's a freaking nightmare. All right, coming at you with turn six. This might be the last turn. We'll see what happens. And that's ball game early in turn six. Uh, pioneers and uh, a German infantry squad both burst into the building. Bloody fight with the Rangers. A lot of stabbing, a lot of hooking and weaving. But the uh, Germans overpower the Rangers and. Uh, kill off the machine guns in there and take the church and that was their objective they've got the church that's really the Americans have nothing left to offer Pierce is like I'm I'm done I'm going to work I hate you so he's no longer my son but it's awesome I still love him God bless you but uh, great victory even with uh, some plunging fire the Germans were able they lost a couple guys going in but they just did three or four more casualties in the Rangers and uh, that's game over turns turn six it's a great match don't have to worry about doing the rest of it it's getting kind of ugly there at the end anyway I don't want to rub it in and scar my child before he leaves for college good battle it was great getting back in the game again enjoyed the hell out of it got to use a lot of rules that I'd forgotten and <laughs> hand I forgot uh, smoke counters artillery a lot of machine guns it was a uh, Weird for me not using any tanks, but you know they're over there. They're all pissed off. They didn't get to play, but uh, they'll be all right. I think there's more down the bottom shelf underneath. Oh, I don't know. Oh, there, there's more vehicles down there. I got too many tanks. Sweet, good game. Americans retreat off map with what they got. Mortar will pile on that mortar carrier. The officer will run like hell. He probably got captured and. At least the SS aren't there to chop them up. The regular German uh, officers will be nicer. Towed out the howitzer. But they'll be back. Probably three seconds after they leave, a thunderbolt rolled in and dropped bombs all over it and blew it to crap. <laughs> Good game. All right. Thanks for watching. Hope it was fun. I'm going to go get this sucker on YouTube. See ya.